Hello and welcome to Off the Press. I'm Felicity Ezewike. With me this morning to discuss the major headlines on the national dailies is a political analyst, Ubuchuku Ikako. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for me. I hope you didn't have any trouble finding us. Uh, no, 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 no. no. It was, I think the road is a little bit free. Kind of a pocket of traffic somewhere, but it, it's, it was coming down here wasn't difficult. Oh, people are still laid back from the holidays we've uh, had. I, I, believe me, I think you should have <laughs> bought the holiday for like oh, today. today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what's making the rounds. Um, see some of the papers we have. We have this day, we have the nation punch vanguard. Uh, let's see if we have time, we can just glance at some of the headlines in the sports uh, newspaper. For now, let's take a look at this day. Uh, we have uh, the screamer APC to tribunal dismiss Atiku's petition. He is ineligible to run. That's it on your front page uh, with two writers. Insist PDP's candidate is not a Nigerian. Panel defers ruling in opposition's request to in inspect INEX server card reader. Gets even more intriguing. Court OK's NBC, dark communications out of court settlement. That's uh, page 10. Bankers seek two trillion naira pension funds to finance homes for contributors. Lord reappointment of MA Philae to disburse funds to creative industry. Uh, that's uh, at a very top. Let's go to the bottom of the paper now. There you have it. Uh, Troop skill 64 as bandits Boko Haram murder 75. Nama confirms recovery of 40 bodies in Niger. That's uh, quite sad. Uh, towards a brighter future, uh, this pic that picture there is uh, Nikon Allied Industries Limited, ha um, Aliko Dangote, Halima Aliko Dangote. If you want to know what it's about, you might want to go grab a copy of this day newspaper because we'll probably be skipping that one. Uh, Welfare Matters, Fort Senate to John Plenary. That's uh, page eight of the paper. We have a brand new Senate. Uh, house right now and on the back of the paper we have Shaka Momodu and he's talking on Nigeria spiraling insecurity well the president did say he's worked hard on that and the situation is um, a little better than when he met the country uh, when he came to power 20, 2015 we'll get to that in a bit i'm sure you might want to read this story on the back page of the state newspaper but let's uh, look at the front page first which could yeah, well i think i think uh the well, uh, what is still dominating the, 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 the headlines so far has been about the tribunal, all right? Yes. Uh, and uh, we've seen that the election has come and gone, talking about the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have the, uh, the leadership of the House, uh, good for the upper house and the lower house is, is all fixed. Everybody knows their responsibility. So when they, when they come back from their uh, the region to July 2nd, so when they come back, hopefully uh, they will kick in uh, with the business. Uh, which they need to do in terms of moving the nation forward. My hope is that I don't know whether the president will be serious enough to list the ministerial list before them, because it, 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 it will make a lot of sense, all right, for them. So when they come back, they have something to work with. Not when they come back, we we'll start going about all around that, because at the moment the president is not on leave, all right, he has jobs to do. So at least by now, we should know okay, who are the people that will pilot the affairs of the country for the next uh, four years. If the ministers are going to be there for like six months, one year before you remove them, because he didn't remove anybody during the last. Uh, during this first tenor. So for me, uh, that's the conversation I, I'm hoping that we'll move into in the coming days, in the coming weeks, because we need to understand, okay, what, what are, where are we heading to as a country? What, what are the trajectory? Okay, and the investors out there, okay, well, what does this administration po uh, portends at this point? Uh, is, it, is the climate good enough to bring in money into this country? Because the truth is this, uh, we need investors' money, we need to restore investors' confidence to move the country forward. And uh, uh, for what's going on with the tribunal, I think I think APC is being uh, is not being serious with themselves. All right, uh, APC or PDP? APC. All right, they're asking they're asking uh, the tribunal to dismiss the article's pet petition is not eligible to run. That is not is not Nigerian. I think that is for me. That is very. Uh, that is not. That's not a serious statement. They don't have anything serious against him because if you have something serious, you shouldn't be bringing this thing. This is a man that has been cleared by. Nigeria's biggest intelligence agency, all right? He was the vice president for eight years, all right? He was, he was elected a governor at one point, and he later served as vice president for eight years. I yeah, you to, feel that point just, it doesn't you make, know, it doesn't make sense. It does rubbish not, the it, entire process. It, it, it's just trying to uh, give a dog a bad name, all right? But, but the truth is that uh, he has 
he's a Nigerian, and all, everybody knows that, all right? Uh, the assistants, the SSS in the past, and the DSS and the rest of them, they've cleared him, all right? You've gone, down, you've gone through all the background checks to say, okay, this person in Nigeria. So for him to have been the vice president for eight years, and you're coming back to say this, and some of these guys are saying this, and some people that worked with him in the past, I, I think it's, it's, it's high point that we forget about these petty politics. Uh, if APC feels that they want the election clean and cut, then it's fine. Go to the court, defend, defend but, but it. But INEG is, uh, INEG is saying they don't have a server that the PDP can review because they, uh, they then, have no idea what they're talking then about. Then INEG, INEG themselves is trying to play smart, all right? Because we all know that this election, at, at the point you said it was done, is electronic voting, where you vote, it translates and everything. So there is, a, there is a back room that stores this data and rest of them, all right? And if you're saying that, let's say, for example, it was a uh, 15 million or 16 million people that voted, or whichever the number, I, 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 I can't remember that at this point, then the data should be there. It will be easy for you to get it out and present it to the Are court. Are you saying that INEC is hiding something? Uh, but if INEC is saying that they don't have the data, all right, because this is... This is they are saying they don't have a server that the PDP can look at. And the PDP is saying that there is a server, there is a which, server. Where they, they, which is where they got the information there is, that they... There, there, they, there is a server, because at the end of the day, you're not, you're not going to tell me that you did an election without So how can a, a credible electoral umpire insist that they don't have a server? Who do we believe? Well, uh, for me, I think, it, like I said, INEC is not being serious, all right? They're not being sincere to us, all right? Because it, it, with the amount of money that was given to them prior to the election proper and they organized the election and every other thing, at this point, all right, bring out all... Bring out all every 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 everything that that somebody's asking for example a ticket has gone to court say these are the information I need that these are things these are things that I want so if I next said that this election was fair free and fair and this person is disputing it what you need to do is to give him all the information he's asking for he takes it to the court the, the court checks it and if the court finds out there was nothing uh, missing and everything was done in, in in the right sense of mind then fine and good INEC has his credibility intact so what INEC is trying to do at this point is is trying to make uh, uh, stakeholders or, or people that are invested in this case to lose more confidence in them because you can't tell Nigerians when there is no server. Right? You're, 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 there's supposed to be a cloud where all this information has stored. So present well, that let's, and let's see. Let's, let's wait until the court uh, decides because they've deferred from this rider. The, the panel has deferred ruling. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in opposition's request to inspect our next server. So let's see what the, co the panel will say. Well, I, 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 I trust the court to do the right thing. Well, you and I both. <laughs> the Nation newspaper is next for review this morning. And again, the server is here. No server for PDP. Article to check. INEC tells tribunal. APC Buhari urge panel to reject PDP candidates' requests. That's it. The server is on everybody's mind. <laughs> it, it, it just brings into question. Is INEC working for the APC? Right, because if APC is saying this is what we want, and INEC is saying this is what we want to do, all right, INEC as an I, I, I like as an agency, right? Suppose one of the one of the key things supposed to do, like if you're in the service service, be neutral, all right? Your path should be if people say they need a, give them a. It say, could be it could be a, a question of semantics because here um, from this little thing that I'm saying, Anek told the tribunal that no server was used for the election, and yes, they may have a server, but it wasn't used for the purpose of the uh, election. So, so what, what, uh, the, the, the collection, maybe you know, sometimes these things are on but technicalities. The, but, but the collection was not done manually. Right, because it, it, according according to uh, according to the electoral guideline before the election proper, it shouldn't have been done manually across the country. That was why we voted was e voting at this point. All right, and that was part of the thing that uh, the, the, that was the elect electoral act that was reformed and rest of them that the president did not assign into uh, now send the bill before the election happened. So it can't say because the truth is this: unless there are some places that they cooked up numbers, and if they bring out this data from the cloud, wherever they stored it, if they bring out this data, it will not, it will not, it will not expose what they've done. That's, that's my own opinion, because at this point, it cannot, because this election was, there was an electronic voting, all right? The, 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 the guys, remember, I remember the election day because I voted, the, the, the guy will swipe and check everything. So are you telling me that after what they swipe to check whether my card is fake or true before I vote, did it enter into a cloud? It didn't store somewhere else? It didn't just disappear and went to the universe? So it doesn't make sense. So what I next should do for me at this point is that, see, you've done your job fair, all right? allow the court to do their own job. So I think it's, it's, it's time for the court to compel them. If you're saying that there is no server, then what, I think there was, a, there was provision for all these things. So what did you do with that money? Someone should answer for it. All right, let's move away from the server for a bit, even though it seems to be uh, a lot uh, on the front page. I was going to ask you about this. Thank God it's captured on the front page. We'll get to that in a bit. Let's uh, look at some other headlines on the Nation newspaper. Senate minority offices, PDP tips Abari Bay. Others, you'll find details on page six. Uh, the picture of the man himself is 
is there. And again, the bandits um, killing 62 uh, bandits sack eight villages, villages in Niger. Niger. I, 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 yeah. When we came in, Alex said that the president said has done so well in, on insecurity. So for me, I don't have anything to say. That answers the question of whether the president has done something or not. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I, I'll, I'll, I'll reserve comments on it for now. Um, oil revenue hits uh, 85 trillion naira in five years. And then EFCC plans oat taking for whistleblowers. That's another one for you on the front page. And Navy destroys 2,829 firearms. And then a bit of sports for you with the man himself. You will be there. Uh, let's go to the bottom of the... Um, paper now. This sad one. Eight dead, 12 injured in Lagos Ibado road crash. That was quite sad. That's Wednesday night. Um, sad one, really. May they rest in peace. 25% pension funds for mortgage and kidnapped teacher relieves experience. Doctors have laptops with tracking device. On the back page of the nation, we have uh, Shegu this morning uh, looking at reaffirming justice and democracy. Uh, there is a quote there. Uh, we now think in terms of our ethnic nations, it's uh, marginalization and all with no corresponding interest in the entity named Nigeria. Looks like an interesting read from that except. But let's uh, look at uh, the other headlines here. Uh, we've taken a look at this other issue. So let's uh, take a look at, let's go back to this 62, 62 killed. Yeah. Compared to what we had uh, when the, I'm not holding brief for any person, but you would, you would agree that uh, to some degree, we used to have on a daily bombings, people being killed in this country, but we don't have that frequency. We, what we have but, more is this but, bandit situation. But we have, we have communities being sacked, right? At, at that point, at that point, under the Good Luck administration, administration, we had issued a, the, we had the book around that was what, what, at, at its peak, all right. And you know that this was secluded to the north eastern part of the country. We had like Bono, Adamo, and some other pocket of state, all right. But now this is coming down to Niger State, right now. So bandits are sacking people in Niger State, right, close to the FCT, all right. And the, the truth is that there is something about leadership, all right, and there is something about leadership challenges for each season. Uh, what this country faced under good luck in terms of insecurity is kind of different from what we're facing now. The most important thing is that is the person at the helm of affairs trying to nip this situation at the board. All right, because the truth is this, you can't keep comparing yourself. The reason why we voted you in is not to compare yourself with the guy that left. The reason why we voted you in is to make it to make the process better, to enhance to enhance security, to, to make the security architecture stronger, so that people will feel more safe. People will feel uh, people will have a sense of that that sense of safety is not in the country at the moment. Despite the English uh, feminization, I will speak uh, in Abuja or wherever in Asuro, that sense of security, that sense of okay, I'm, I'm at peace, is all over the country. And now the headlines say that Navy destroyed 2,800 2, something firearms. Fire it shows you already that even our waterways is porous. Right, so these guys coming through the waterways, they coming through the land, through, the, through, through, our, through our land border. So it shows you that our whole security architecture as a country should be revamped. Some serious questions should be done. It's, it's not about who, is there more claims or not, because the truth, the truth we already know is that now we have we have we are battling with banditry. We're about, we have the posterior conflict that is going abduction. on. Abduction. We have abduction, abduction, kidnapping going on already, and we still have we have we still have terrorism that we're still battling with as a world. And these guys, they've, they've gone further now. They've, they've they've merged and joined the international organization. So at the end of the day, we'll have, we'll have serious issues. So for me, is that like, what are we doing to end this thing? If there's no serious conversation, it's not about yesterday. So we, don't need, we don't need that statistic of what happened yesterday. What are you doing to make the process better? All right. The Punch newspaper is next for review. Opposition bashes Senate for rejecting motion to discuss Buhari's speech. Lawan sets up ad hoc committee, Senator John Steele, July 2. That's on the front page of the Punch newspaper. And al albinism, uh, there are people that has it, uh, were celebrated yesterday, yesterday internationally. Albinos at the United Nations International Albinism Awareness Day. Uh, that's it for you on the front page. They are a part of us. Uh, we have uh, Yoruba actor Daguro is dead. A man rapes mother in emo, blames it on alcohol. That's on page four, things you read. Let's go to the top of the paper now and see what's there for a bit and then we'll come back again. Um, at the top of the paper, we have a Tiku PDP asking for server we don't have. INEC tells tribunal too many political parties in Nigeria, a distraction. That's according to the UN. And then, of course, fire shit slams to passenger. Um, hails Buhari for honoring MKO Abiola. UK firm seeks seizure of $9 billion Nigerian assets. 
uh, if you've been following the news, we captured that a little earlier. Um, we have this one, Unisic scandal, and Bruce Ali University denies embattled lecturers examiner documents. Uh, reconciliation, uh, Ganduje demands apology from Sanusi. You find details of that on page 10. And on the back of the Punch newspaper, we have Arrested Development, Insights from Science, Religion and Fiction, Friday Musings with Ayo uh, on the front. Let's uh, take, see if we can capture these papers okay, quickly. I, I, I think for me, yesterday was World uh, uh, Albinism, Albinism Day. Day. I, I, I yes. think it's, it's important, right? That it's good that they're getting their needed attention, right? They face a lot of uh, marginalization in the society. Uh, sometimes, especially some of them, the kids, they get bullied in school, uh, some of them that are, that are in the creative industry, they get they get rejected for roles and a lot of that. So at least, at least it's for us, when we celebrate days like this, like what happens in Bay, I think it should call for people to you know, ask themselves questions. Uh, if, if someone that's, that's close to me that has that, all right, uh, am I making life better for the person? Am I making life difficult for the person? Because there are some places in Africa where some people believe, erroneously, like, that they have some kind of uh, jewelries gold attached to their body that if you kill them together, which is wrong, all right? So I like, think days like this is, is, is good for us to dispel such uh, such notions and say, okay, this is not true, right? These people are human beings, right? They have some challenges, but it does not mean they are complete people, right? And they're good people, and they're the best of people you can meet, right? You have, some of us have them as friends, and I think it's good that they're getting the attention that they, they need, and it's good that people should, okay, see them, not don't, don't see them as an object of ridicule, as an object for you to make jokes or to make caricature or, or make them feel, 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 feel bad. I, think, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think they need that. They all need love and all need support from each other. Yeah, sometimes I even wonder if um, the stigmatization doesn't have a relationship with racism. It's, it's a form of racism, if you ask me, because if you're discriminating against someone because of the color of yeah. their skin, it doesn't matter whether it's a medical condition, then something is definitely wrong. Anyway, let's move on to the Vanguard newspaper. Insecurity. Oshu under siege. Governor cries out as Makainde vows to stop kidnapping in oil. Bandits go berserk in Niger, kill six to two in five days. And uh, Osho Dia Papa tax team, Laksma police fail. That's what they are saying. Gridlock on a Papa Osho Dia Expressway persists. <laughs> okay, that's a Herculean task for the new uh, governor. Still on the front page, we have key players split over King Gibe's accusation. A passenger's role in June 12 annulment. And then FG's second green bond records 200% subscription. Lawan ta takes charge for a straight move by PDP senators to discuss Buhari's Democracy Day speech. And then, of course, we have uh, another June 12 story on the front page. At the very top, we also have the June 12 captured. Um, a weekend groove marriage, not cause of domestic violence. That's actress uh, Omotola speaking. And then, of course, you have the dispute with MTN Nigeria's foreign investment inflows down by 43%. And, of course, that tribunal story captured there again on the back page of the Vanguard. You have uh, usual sports stories for you. Um, there's something I keep missing to draw your attention to. I think it has something to do with the um, senators. The yes, I've, I've, I've been missing talking to you about this. The first call at that Senate was uh, to review the president's date. Uh, President's Democracy Day speech. What's your take on that uh, headline? Uh, for me, uh, what are you reviewing for? It's not. It's not. It's not there. It's not. That is not their main legislative duty. Right? They should get back to their main legislative duty and think about how to impact their communities. All right? We, 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 Nigerians have radios. Nigerians have television. Nigeria have. Nigerians have social media. So we all have access to presidential uh, speech. If we have issue with the president, we we'll call on his media spokesperson to clarify things that we did not understand. If the president has done well uh, in as much as possible, try as much possible to name the national stadium in Abuja after M M K O M K O So for me, uh, I think the one. I think if that is the first thing that he did, I think he got it right. PDP and the rest of them should try as much as possible. Right? The opposition, their duty. Their is to make sure that the president delivers on good governance and the people that work with him. Not about it. The speech has nothing, all right? Because at this point, they should be asking if for me, what they should have asked on that day, all right? What they should have asked after that speech, after after everything is that when are we having the ministerial list? Because we understand that the last time it took six months and that affected how, how, how is his governor for his, his first time. So at this point, that should be the conversation. That should be what PDP senators should be pushing. Not about the speech. The speech is passed. 
All right, I guess that's where we're going to leave things for now. But before we go, let me just quickly take a look at some of the uh, headlines in the sports uh, stories that we have. We have complete sports. I won't let you go without uh, bringing, up, bringing it to you, especially your sports lovers. Mikhail, um, in Egypt for the second Afghan title. Uh, we also have something on... Um, Igodalo resumes full training as team begins tactical training. Uh, goal for Afghan trophy. Uh, we have Nigerian ambassador charges uh, Eagles. Uh, Madagascar play Mauritania in last friendly. Uh, let's see if there's a uh, Sari talk with uh, Juve Stoll. Bolt tells Man United, don't sell Pogba. Juventus in London for Pogba talks. That's something for you uh, on the complete sports newspaper. And on the back of Vanguard Sports, we have uh, Liverpool battle Norwich in opening fixture. That's new EPL season. Uh, that's uh, today's fixtures are also captured on uh, the back page of the Vanguard uh, Sports. Uh, the FIFA World uh, Women World Cup, and I uh, also have international friendlies there for you if you'd like to see that. Uh, FIFA WWC, I'm not under pressure to score, says Oshola. Uh, let's see. Uh, Destroy Skimmings, tier AFN apart. All details of this on the Vanguard Sports on the back page. The pages are captured inside as well. You might want to look at it. I guess that's where we're going to wrap things up. Uh, thank you very much, Guchiku, for coming thank in. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure to have you. And uh, for those that know what we do with Vanguard on the front page of Mr. and Mrs., there is uh, that cartoon there. And today, the man is saying, most times women drive their husbands to commit adultery when they deny them sex. And, and the woman replies, instead of admitting that they lack discipline, men are full of excuses, just like they did in the garden of Eden. I, I, think I, want, I want to go with the woman. <laughs> I think I want to go with the woman. Okay. Like, it's lack of indiscipline that makes someone give that kind of poor excuse. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, so there are men that still think that way. You know, it's, 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 it's high level of indiscipline for you to feel that you want to just go out because, you no, know, I want to deny. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not your birthright, right? right? It's not your birthright. So you should behave yourself and get some level of discipline. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And of course, thank you for watching. Always a pleasure. We'll see you again on Monday morning. My name is Felicity Ezewike. You take care now.